There are four key actions that you're going to utilize when reviewing your open course data in your Data Link 2 software. The first one is set zero. And set zero is really important because that allows you to overlay data from multiple drag race runs, for example, and make sure that they always start at the same time. If you start your recording of data on one run before the burnout and on another afterwards and overlay them from the beginning of the recording versus a zero that you set, none of your data will ever be lined up with the appropriate data from another run. Instead, you're going to use the time that the car actually starts to move from the starting line and establish that as zero. And that's what the set zero function is for. Auto scale is another function that allows you to see the entire recording from start to finish regardless of the placement of your set zero. That allows you to see everything and to analyze trends. Let's say that you leave the starting line and everything is looking good, oil pressure is great, but you go through the lights, you finish your run and you've looked at that data, but now when you're cool down while you're rolling through the shutdown area, you see that oil pressure is starting to drop and could indicate a problem. That's why you'd use auto scale. Now user scale instead takes a small chunk, starting with that set zero that you made earlier. So in essence, only shows you the run, only the data that you care about that showed how quick the car was going and why, and will allow you to tune it for better performance. And the final action is averaging cursors. Averaging cursors allows you to put in two markers so that you can average the data only between those two specific points. Utilizing all of them is very simple and this is how you do it. The auto scale icon is located in the lower left area of the Datalink 2 software and is utilized to view all data taken during a recording session. The time scale seen at the bottom of the graph area reflects the time from the start of the data recording until the logger is powered off or the recording automatically stops. The user scale icon is located beneath the auto scale icon and is utilized to view data during the run only. The time scale seen at the bottom of the graph area is preset to a time reflective of elapsed times in your particular drag racing class as set from the race pack factory. This time can be changed by selecting settings, then preferences in the main menu. The user scale begin time and user scale end time values can be changed to reflect the elapsed time of your class if necessary. The set start time icon is a green circle located near the bottom left of the data link to software. This same command can also be found under Edit, Set Start Time in the main menu. To set start time, open a run file and graph your drive shaft RPM channel. In this case, we will use DS RPM from a Sportsman run file. Move the cursor to the graphed area and left click and hold the left button down. Move the cursor to where the vehicle appears to leave the starting line. Watching the real-time values beside the DS RPM channel button, we will continue to slowly move the cursor until we locate the exact moment the drive shaft RPM starts to move upward. This signifies the initial movement of the vehicle from the starting line. Next, release the left mouse button and select the set start time icon. This action now sets the zero point of the run from the initial movement of the vehicle, allowing for accurate data overlay and comparison. This action must be performed for each run file before overlaying for comparison and analysis. Remember to select the save icon to save all changes each time you execute.